Hello friends, welcome to the new video on letter of support or financial support. Now if we talk about letter of support, which is very, very important, uh, it's a very mandatory document. Some places it's not specified, some places it's specified to provide this letter, but it's very good to add this letter. Uh, letter of support can be for university, can be for parents, can be for visa, right? Any kind of letter of support. So this is a generalized letter. Here you can you can get you know what exactly is needed, and especially if you're, if you're applying for visa, it will really help. You know, for parents visa or relative visa, it will really really help. But before going that, please friends subscribe to my channel. Please do. I uh, uh, yesterday I bought one of the video on invitation letter, and my plan is to cover invitation letter, letter of support letter of proof of means of financial support and purpose of travel this these really helps to strengthen your case you want to go to the embassy with a hundred percent you know uh, uh, all the documents and so that they don't come back to you and then you have to uh, resubmit the documents it's better to avoid that make sure you watch all the videos i have a update on the parent sponsorship we got a good response a update and please do watch the videos and uh, uh, support me please do like the video and do subscribe comments on please come up with your comments i want to watch uh, what your comments are before i go into the letter and I, I i'll create a letter in front of you i'll explain you i just want to cover a few important things here that i want to uh, make sure that you're aware of so main thing to point uh, point that i want to cover in this letter in this thing is that firstly you need to have a letter of support right you are calling a relative you're calling your parent you need to have a letter of support that you need to provide to Canadian government right or a government it can be US government as well it can be government anywhere but that is general but yeah man especially specifically Canadian government the CIC ask you for the letter of support next thing is finance they want to see you are able to support financially I'm going to put that into it Next thing is they want to see is your relationship. What is your relationship with that person whom you are calling? Suppose that person, that person is your parents, your mother, your father. है. So that will show in your passport, right? Or birth certificate will show that that person is your parent. You know, same grandparent. If they are, then they will show your birth certificate and your father's birth certificate that they are your grandparent. Uh, dada ji, hai, dadi ji, hai, right? Next thing is cost and expenses. When you live here, what are the cost? Uh, and expenses including the health expenses that you have to uh, let the government know ki I, I am going to support support this last is basis of support what is the support basis of support are you working show the letter of uh, employment right your bank statement show your bank statement so let's without any delay let's uh, quickly jump on the letter of support and I'm just going to cover this here so this is a format of letter of support. Now, if you'll see all the websites, especially the Canadian website or any other website, they will talk about letter of support or letter of financial support. They need it. They will also provide letter of invitation. If you see letter of invitation here, they'll provide what all is required there. And this is all I covered. You just need to go to my channel and see this, this video. But uh, they will talk about it, but they will not talk about what details are required. Like in, in like you don't get a template, right? This is just you provide you the high level details. But if you miss anything, it's your problem. Now they don't provide anything about a letter of support, a letter of financial support, or a letter of invitation. Ke mein baat karte, but they don't talk about, talk about letter of you know financial support. So I'm gonna provide you this today. So please make sure you watch the complete video because I'm gonna tell you each and every step that I'm gonna highlight kar rakha especially so that it's easy for you. So firstly, let's jump on the letter. Um, let's see. So example, you know, I've provided a date as the example. Top of the letter should have a date. So I've given you an example. So, koshish kariyega, you know, your month is come first. Because agar ab Canada, can, ke baat karte, to Canada recognize a month and then date. So try to do this first. Then your letter will say to the visa office, cons Consulate General of Canada. Now you have to provide city, country. Now if you are... As I said in my last video, letter of invitation, if you are, say, from Bangladesh, right, Dhaka, Bangladesh, so you can provide Dhaka, Bangladesh. So this is in city where the uh, embassy is and then the country name. Okay, so this is what you need to provide. Now, next is subject line, right? Top of the line should be subject. So now letter of sub financial support for, who is providing this letter? Somebody who is permanent resident, somebody who is 
सिटीजनशिप हैज सिटीजनशिप वो प्रोवाइड कर रहा है लेटर अपने पेरेंट्स के लिए या रिलेटिव के लिए राइट सो ही इज राइटिंग दिस लेटर मेक श्योर एंड ही इज राइटिंग दिस लेटर फॉर द पर्सन हुम ही इज इनवाइटिंग सो दैट इज वाई मैं द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन हु इज इनवाइटिंग सपोज इफ आई राइट डाउन हेयर आई एम इनवाइटिंग से शारदा देवी हु इज से माई मदर राइट सो i i need to provide her name okay letter of support for sharda devi i am writing dear immigration officer i or say my name is this okay so this is my name who is inviting okay so for example my name is uh, the person who is inviting is harjeet singh so i am providing that this is not my name guys friends but um, i am just providing the the, the in example here so for example harjeet singh He is currently working as so. अपना profile बताना पड़ेगा. What I am working as? Am I have a business? Do I work as a consultant job? So, so for example, I work as a consultant, right? Consultant at say for example, this is not my company. So, at Google, say uh, Toronto office, Canada. Okay. So now you have to provide if if you are married. अगर आप मैरिड हो तो यू विल प्रोवाइड बोथ योर सेल्फ एंड योर हस्बैंड और वाइफ डिटेल्स इफ यू वांट टू प्रोवाइड इफ यू वांट टू प्रोवाइड सिंगल जैसे आपको अपने मम्मी के लिए या अपने पापा के लिए या यू नो यू हैव टू इनवाइट देम यू आर नॉट यू आर नॉट मैरिड यू कैन प्रोवाइड इट योर सेल्फ ओके सो दिस इज दिस ओनली कम्स वेन यू यू आर मैरिड ओके सो आई एंड माई से यहाँ पे मैं लिख देता हूँ वाइफ ओके माई वाइफ Now I need to provide wife name, profile, and location. So my suppose my wife is working. Okay, if not working, provide she is a housewife. Okay, or housemaker. So if she is working, then I need to provide the name. So here we provide her name. Say Mona, um, Mona Khanna. Right. This is an example again. Um, employed. At I'm putting Google again. Just an example. Toronto, Canada, office, and we are both. If you are permanent resident, then permanent resident. If you have citizenship, then put citizen here of Canada and living in. Where are you living? Say for example, I provide my home address. Right, one one one. Um, say. Or I have saved permanent address, right? Permanent address, uh, Toronto, and then the postal code. Okay. Our permanent residents are as follows. Okay. Permanent res resident details are as follows. So permanent resident details, right? If it is a PR card, then you need to provide PR card. Now this is very important. Okay. And I'm just going to provide what format it should be. So firstly, it should be PR card number. It's usually eight, eight eight characters, and if you have citizenship, then your citizenship number, and then your name here. So this is uh, sorry, this is your name, okay? And then you need to provide D O B, which is date of birth. So for example, date of birth is one nineteen eighty. So provide that. After that, you need to have your contact detail here. So mobile number. So plus one dash say six four seven one one one, and then. Uh, if you are married, as I said, and your wife is also inviting uh, your parent as a letter of support or financial support, you need to provide same details for your wife. Okay, so PR card number two 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 dash two 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 two, and then DOB is uh, again January two uh, nineteen. Eighty one. I'm just giving an example, and then the mobile number. So whatever the mobile number is for your wife, this is very very important. Okay, and then you need to provide her residence address, and then just copy this information here. यहाँ पे copy करके साथ में यहाँ पे अपना postal code. For example, the postal code is L five R dash three T seven. Okay. Something like that. I think this is from Mrs. Saga. If I'm not wrong, but it's okay. You know, whatever is your postal code, you will provide that, right? And then uh, Canada. Okay. 
Now, next thing is that you are confirming that you are uh, bearing all the expenses. You are uh, uh, supporting uh, your, say in this case, your mother, right? So, I'll put it here. This letter is to confirm that myself and my, if you are married here, okay? Otherwise, remove this portion. Wife will be bearing all the travel and lodging expenses, living, boarding and health related insurance. Now, health related insurance, it's not the case always. If you're applying for super visa, then you need to provide health care related insurance. But if you are not, then it's not, it's not mandatory. But if you provide it, it makes the case strong. And if you provide it, try to provide so, so if you're applying for super visa example, in, in example, you know, you need to provide this uh, health insurance related document, okay, that uh, get a get a health insurance from somewhere from some insurance company and then provide that you have the health insurance for so and so date, right, when the person is traveling. And if you have tickets, put the ticket copy as well. Okay. So, and are there any other cost for my relative? So, who who is your relative? Okay. Now this is your mother, right? So for my mother, Sharda Devi, during her stay in Canada, okay? Then you need to provide, we hold enough funds to bear all the expenses mentioned in this, write this line, okay? We hold enough funds and you need to provide that, that uh, statement. So I have been working with, so I was working with Google in this case or a business, right? So business agar hai, to kitna time ka purana business hai aapka? So friends, ये बहुत जरूरी है. So say for with with Google, right? Um, and my say wife is case में था. So at Google, uh, you you can provide here since last three years. I'm just giving an example here. You don't need to be accurate. Whatever it is, you know, in this case, say since last one year. Okay. Just giving an example. Um, with the annual salary of, you know, you have to salaries bata doge, kitni. Ya aap total bata doge. with the annual salary income of, say for example, 60,000, right? I'm just giving, taking an example, 60,000. And here you need to provide the letter from your employer. Okay. So if you're, if you're uh, working with, uh, say, any company, so you need to provide a company name or a business name here. Okay. And you need to provide and you need to write down here and hold the joint accounts. If you have a joint account, write joint account. If you don't have a joint account, remove this part. Okay, hold bank accounts. You can say hold bank accounts with the bank name. Now what you need to provide here, say for example, you have a RBC um, account with the RBC bank. You need to write down that, okay? If you have two accounts, say RBC and Scotia bank, provide that. And you can write down here uh, with the with the with the liquid cash they they want to know liquid cash kitna aapke paas gic hai kitna aapke paas fd hai fixed deposit hai kitna aapka paisa waisa hai not real estate kitna aapka aisa waisa jo aap fatafat nikal sakte hain theek hai aur aapka line of credit even housing line of credit this is my line of credit itna cash hai mere paas liquid cash itna hai so with the liquid cash of say 40000 right evidence includes so aap is letter ke sath aap bank statement laga doge yahan pe theek hai next thing is we will be providing support of how much? So, आपने जो ऊपर लिखा है, copy that, 40,000 for any kind of expenses for my relative, for my mother, Sharda Devi, during her travel and stay in Canada. Okay. You need to specify that. Canadian government या कोई government होती है, they, they want to see that you have specified that you have authenticated. So going back to my presentation, one important point here, they want to see your letter of support, which you are providing. They, they want to see your authorization of content. Now this letter that you are seeing here, this is authorizing, a, uh, 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 you're providing your authorization, right? That you're going to support her. So that is the important part. Okay. Now la, uh, next paragraph you need to provide, this is the last paragraph I'll say, I am submitting below following documents with this letter attached below. So you are providing your passport copy, okay, indicating your relationship, okay. For example, in this case, it's your mother name, mother's name. So when, when you are providing your passport, try to provide, you are providing a copy, right? Highlight your mother's name and your name there. So the official who sees or copy you have uh, 
copy of my passport indicating the relationship with my so and so mother father right write down write that down next thing is letter of canadian bank account statement so provide at least 3 months or 4 months i've written here 4 months so the 3 months they, they ask but agar wo kehte hain aapse embassy ki you i want 6 months so provide 6 months okay but you should have uh, funds in the bank statement or account for at least 3 months and then provide your bank detail here a bank detail like both say in this case you have rbc and scotia bank okay now next part is employment letter form now employment letter okay this is very very important this can be employment letter or a business letter if you are have a business and you are inviting somebody and you are providing letter of support here so uh, now this is for for you right for you or your wife as well right if your wife is applying then for for her and you as her husband right so so employment letter for you and your wife try to provide both if you are married if you are single provide yourself only okay this is very important let employment letter uh, bank statement and the uh, and how you are proving that you are relative of that particular person so these three things very very important next thing is t4 so if you have a letter of assessment provide letter of assessment letter of assessment kya hota hai it's like uh, income tax ka uh, assessment you know which you get at the end of the year when you file your income tax whatever it's called in your in your country in canada it's called letter of assessment okay and then t4 is basically your tax breakdown of your if you're if you're salaried then you get a t4 if you have a business provide that document if you're self employed provide that document if you're contract and working on a contract provide that document and then provide the year say for example 2022 2021 right uh, 2020 you know usually they ask for the last 3 years in case of parent grandparent support but in case of uh, normal visa you can provide only for 1 year or 2 years jitna zyada provide karoge utna acha hai iska matlab ye nahi ki 10 saal ka provide kar do but 1 to 2 years is more than enough sahi hai theek hai and then the provide the pay slips right pay slips for both um, say myself and my wife okay recent pay slip i'll go say recent paste pay slips now lastly i request um, i kindly request you to grant uh, now i want to cover whom what why in just half a minute so as i said you know uh, you want to show them the monetary support when your relative arrives right so what kind of monetary support your relative will have uh, and uh, this is about this letter is about financial support so you are asking them the embassy to grant a uh, visa to say my mother right uh, say mrs sharda devi uh, um, say if you are applying for visitor visa so just specify visitor visa visa for her travel to meet with family and then just specify i am happy to provide any say further information if required okay uh, finally details you need to provide yours truly if you are applying for yourself write down your details okay if you, and then the phone number okay um, and if your wife is applying also so put in your wife details as well here so in this case the wife detail was mona khanna provide her mobile number as well so this is all you need to specify please make sure friends you like the video please subscribe to the channel so i can come up with such kind of uh, videos now this letter is again as i specified in my previous uh, one of my uh, channel yesterday rejection proof this is also one of the rejection proof try it tested so try it yet again but make sure if canadian government ask for did they modify their website if they ask for some more details you know remove some details just keep 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 watch uh, watching the canadian government website that's very very important that's the primary source okay when i talk about basis of support or basis of our uh, information so that this basis of information is coming from there please make sure friends 
do like the video <laughs> subscribe the uh, subscribe the channel i'm asking you again that will really really help you a lot bahut help karega thank you so much and have a nice day keep watching for the new video